often hear the terms climate change and global warming, but what do they really mean and what does it have to do with me? Climate change refers to the change we are currently seeing in the climate, including global warming. Global warming refers to one aspect of climate change, the increase in the Earth's overall temperature. Climate change is so much more than just that, and many of the impacts of climate change will affect people like you and me, even in Alberta. But the climate is always changing, right? Well, climate, or the prevailing weather, does change over time. But the change we are now seeing in climate is much more abrupt and severe than we have ever seen or recorded before. Changes are occurring more rapidly than ever seen in history, and 97% of scientists agree that these changes are not caused by natural variations, but by you and me. In other words, by human activities. Since the Industrial Revolution, humans have been inventing some pretty cool technology that allows us to use our natural resources for our benefit. These wonderful inventions have increased our use of natural resources and increased our greenhouse gas emissions. Greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide, and water vapor are naturally occurring in the atmosphere. But the problem is that we have added higher amounts of these gases to the atmosphere through the use of our natural resources. For example, whenever we burn hydrocarbons such as gasoline or natural gas, greenhouse gases are released back to the atmosphere. These gases trap heat, much like the glass on a greenhouse does, and this increased heat causes many changes in the environment. Here in Alberta, the main sources of greenhouse gases are from the oil sands, electricity and heat generation, oil and gas production, and transportation. Our greenhouse gas emissions have risen in the past 30 years and are expected to keep rising in future years. Alberta contributes 35.6% of Canada's total emissions. If we don't do anything, what will our emissions be in another 30 years? Many of the news articles we see on climate change talk about sea level rising and polar bear population decline, but Alberta is landlocked, so we don't see the sea or polar bears every day. How will we here in Alberta be affected by climate change? We are already being affected. In Alberta, we have seen more intense storms, changes in normal rainfall patterns, decreases in alpine glaciers, warmer water temperatures, decreases in water quality, loss of fish species, increases in drought and wildfire, and a shift of our natural ecoregions. Remember the flood of 2013, the Fort McMurray fires, or summer droughts? These significant events affect the environment and the economy, and will only increase in frequency in the future. What will you do to combat climate change? Many companies in Alberta have made positive change to combat climate change, we can decrease our greenhouse gas emissions by using best practices, but we may also be forced to adapt to some of the changes that have already occurred. This is sometimes called mitigation and adaptation. The Alberta government has committed to cutting greenhouse gas emissions to 50% of 1990 levels by the year 2050. What will you do? Use Alberta tomorrow to see how land use can contribute to climate change by adjusting the amount of biotic carbon storage, greenhouse gas emissions, or natural landscapes, and by using best practices. Good luck! We can make a change, but it won't happen without a conscious effort on our part.